I, I think one of the things that you know we we that all <sighs> sunk in with us is when is is like Ed was saying when you start the film in Hawaii, um, we start shooting it there, uh, and you know not unlike the military, actors coming from all over parts of U.S. the world. Uh, we've all got various family members in some form of service and we all feel this kinship and we all sort of focus in to playing these soldiers and we, soldiers and sailors, and we dug in as much as we could. And then you have that added element of the bullet holes in the hangar um, and when you're riding to set and you're passing by a building and you see bullet holes in the side of a building and you go, oh, what's that from? And then somebody says nonchalantly, well, that's from December 7th, 1941. It, it all of a sudden becomes very real to us. Uh, it's, it's, we don't, ser this is the way that we serve our country, right? We're not soldiers and sailors and so this is our, this is the way we honor it, is to give as much life and much reverence as we can to these guys. Um, and that became very real very quickly because you realize Pearl Harbor is, is the only, uh, American battlefield, right, of, of World War II. And so it starts to sink in very quickly, the lives lost and the sacrifice. And so that's one thing that we, as we make this, you know, we got a great life and a great living doing, playing in movies. Um, and it becomes very real very quickly for us uh, to play these, give, just give some sense of, of soul to these, to these men and women that, that sacrifice so much. And so that's certainly something, as we sit here in the Pentagon, you know, for us, it's a, it's a pretty big, big deal because we, we know what, what, a, what a wonderful opportunity that we've had to, uh, to, 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 to add to naval history. I agree so much, and I've never had a, a, a shooting experience like it, you know. The kind of, although we were, you know, we, we had fun and, you know, the camaraderie was, was, was wonderful on set. There was this kind of seriousness, a kind of responsibility and respect and duty to to the shoot, which is then carried on into the press tour. And I've never known a press tour like this. I've never experienced anything like this. You know, there's times like we've been close to tears in, in, in interviews, you know, talking about our, our, our family members and, you, you know, the, the effects of the war. Um, and the effects that the Second World War had on all of us. You know, I was born in the 80s, but even two generations past the war, the, the you know, you, you can still feel it, the trauma is multi-generational. Um, and, you know, this means so much to so many people. It, it, it's, you know, the sense of respons responsibility only increases. You know, the first screening of this that we had was on Ford Island. It was poignant, romantic, and, and, and fitting that we went back there to screen it for the servicemen and women over there. We had the, um, the Admiral of the Pacific Fleet introduce the movie, and we, um, we had the, the, the Navy Band play before the screening. It was one of the most um, the poignant um, experiences I've ever had. I was close to tears when, when they clapped at the end. You know, this is something different from the kind of normal frivolity of our, uh, somewhat frivolity of our, our job. Um, and, and, and whilst, you know, it is incredibly entertaining, and that's kind of the pride for me, is that we have this, these two sides of the coin. We've managed to blur something very important to me, art and creativity, and we've blended that with, with, with important um, cultural and global history. Yes, this is an American story. Yes, this is you know, very important um, for America, but this is global history. You know, mm -hmm. This is relevant to all of us. Um, it was one of the many um, turning points and, and, and sliding doors moments of the Second World War. So um, you know, this, 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 this whole experience, it continues to be incredible. You know, this morning we were in Arlington and at the grave of, of, um, Dick, Best. of Dick Best, my character. And um, so the, uh, yes, the emotional roller coaster continues. I mean, I know that you, you've had family that served, you had family that served, I had family that was in this battle. So um, yeah, we're paying respects to them, but also these are men that gave us our freedoms. Mm -hmm. And without them, I may not have the freedoms that I have today. So yeah, it's uh, it's weighted. It should be weighted. It's real. It's something that um, it's it's. This is for them, you know. This is for us. This is for us as a nation. 
So I think uh, it's super important.